everyone and thanks for taking your time to watch our video. In this video we're going to talk about abdomen x-ray AP projections. We just discuss about plain x-ray not the contrast studies. We will talk about them later on on separate videos so don't forget to subscribe us. So radiographic examinations of abdomen may include one or more projections. The AP projections of abdomen includes AP supine, also called as KUB, as in kidney, bladder, and urethra. And the projections to complement the supine AP include an upright AP or an AP projection in lateral decubitus. So usually, left lateral is often performed. And both images are useful in assessing the abdomen in patient with free air and uh, to determine the presence of air fluid levels. So these are the common routine x-ray which we are going to talk about. Patient preparation for abdomen x-ray includes removal of all clothing and radio opaque objects in the area. Then have the patient to wear a hospital gun and generally no patient instruction required before the exam unless for the contrast media studies. For abdomen x-rays, uh, gonadal shields only should be used for male patients with the upper edge of shield carefully placed under the symphysis pubic. For female patients, however, should only be used when the shields do not obscure essential anatomy. So generally, decision should be made by a physician. Okay, so let's discuss about uh, the supine position. Regarding the patient position, uh, make the patient lying on the table and put a pillow under the head and a support under the knee to enhance comfort for a supine position. Uh, the technologist may also use a compression band to minimize the motion and also to reduce the abdomen thickness a little, which consequently may reduce the patient dose. Center ray should be perpendicular to image receptor at the level of L4 or the iliac crest, which is mostly easy to find. However, some technologists may use umbilicus as a landmark when they cannot find the iliac crest, especially in obese patients. However, this landmark is not so accurate and it's not recommended. And in supine projection or KUB X-ray, it's very important to include symphysis pubic in the image. So always check that. And if the patient is so tall, in a way that the pubic is out of our region of interest, so you have to adjust centrally in a way that it will include the symphysis pubis. So we will ensure that the bladder is uh, fully visualized on the image. So, uh, collimation should be 14 to 15 inches and finally put the tube at a distance of 100 cm. So, as I said, uh, we are taking upright x-ray to complement the supine to assess free air and fluid levels. So, by this means, it's important to include the diaphragm in the image because uh, if any air escaping into uh, preterium space will rise up just beneath the diaphragm. And this is the only different difference from supine position, I mean the central ray. So have the patient stand erect in front of image receptor in a way that the weight of the body distributed uh, equally on both feet. Then center the mid sagittal plane and adjust the CR just 5 cm above the iliac crest or high enough to ensure that you include the diaphragm. Okay, so if the patient is unable to stand, we can do lateral decubitus as an alternate for upright x-ray. So it's some um, like upright, just you need to have patients lie on his left side, which is more common, on a radiolucent pad and ask him to raise his arms above the level of the frag. And if it's possible, uh, you have to wait about five to 10 minutes, five minutes at least. So if any air in interperitoneal space 
will rise, uh, will rise up away from the gastric gas. So let's talk about exposure factors. For abdominal imaging, we need a low contrast image to visualize the soft tissues in abdomen region. In this case, a kilo voltage of uh, 70 to 80 for analog and 80 to 85 kilo voltage for digital imaging system should be considered. Regarding the milliampere second, it totally depends on the patient body habitus. For a normal adult patient, a milliampere second of 25 to uh, 32 is usually taken for KUB X ray, however, better to increase milliampere second slightly to have a higher contrast uh, to visualize the stones. And exposure time also uh, have to be short to minimize the motion artifact. And finally, here are some tips you can check to see whether the x-ray is properly done or not. So if you implement good exposure factors, you should see the following anatomies in the image. Uh, first, the liver outlines, as you can see here, and um, the spleen, kidneys, and suas muscles especially are so clear in teen patients. And you can see always uh, some air bubbles in the stomach, small bowel, or uh, colon. To check the rotation, you can easily check by uh, comparing the two sides of pelvic bone, like the iliac wings should be symmetric. And or a scaled uh, spine or also you can check the lower ribs and to ensure that the patient didn't have any motion uh, there are two types of motion actually in case of abdomen x-ray uh, first the voluntary movement such as breathing that um, we could handle it by giving uh, correct instruction to patient to hold his breath after the second expiration. Or uh, in case of involuntary movement, such as bowel actions, which is unavoidable actually. However, to prevent any potential motion in uh, the x-ray, the shortest expo exposure time should be used. So to check the motion artifact on the image, you should um, see the ribs margin and um, the gas bubbles clearly sharp so if it has any blurness in it it means that uh, there were mo some motions here and at last uh, to see if you adjust the center ray correctly uh, you should have the symphysis pubic and the supine x-ray and at the bottom of the image and um, the diaphragm in upright x-ray at the superior border of the image. Okay, and that's it. And thanks for taking your time to watch my video. As I said, um, we discuss uh, contrast media studies on separate videos. So don't forget to subscribe us and thanks again.